Well, I first started with working with Fog Hat when I met Lonesome Dave in Orlando, Florida around 1989. Um, I had already been a professional musician for many years. I had relocated from Pennsylvania to Florida and I was working as an engineer, producer, session guitarist at a small studio called King Snake Records in Sanford, Florida. One night the great blues guitarist Pat Travers brought Lonesome Dave to see our band and we just hit it off as great friends and um, from that moment forward you know we were sort of connected at the hip, talked on the phone and eventually we uh, he started touring with my band. We put together uh, a little I guess what you would call a blues review where my band would open the show but that was uh, my introduction to Lonesome Dave and uh, when he decided to start touring again around the country, uh, you know, full national touring, he asked me to go out with them, and, and that was the beginning of it. And really a momentous moment for me in my life because I met my wife in California, you know, I met Roger eventually, and 20 some years later, here I am still in fog at. So it's one of those, what I call pinball moments where, that change your the direction of your life, you know, in an instant. So he was a great friend and a great mentor.